Hey everyone, this is Ethan. Welcome back to another video. And today, guys, today we're gonna be getting into defining political boundaries. So here I have six different boundaries, or some more than six boundaries, but six types of boundaries on the screen here. And we're gonna learn about the six types of boundaries you need to know. So these are all examples of those boundaries. So let's get started. So let's start going left to right, top to bottom. So here in our top left corner is two boundaries. We can see here they're relatively straight lines following primarily longitude and latitude. Straight line boundaries are known as geometric boundaries. And if I can write correctly today, so geometric boundaries is what they're called. And they're just primarily straight lines according to sometimes latitude and longitude. Not always, but sometimes. And we can see here some states in America have these geometric boundaries as well, as well as provinces in Canada really follow these geometric patterns. So that's kind of cool to know. Now the next one is actually a geometric boundary as well right here, separating Indonesia from Papua New Guinea. But this is a superimposed boundary. And what a superimposed boundary means is that the boundary was drawn out by outside forces. It was superimposed. It was imposed by external people. And these were imposed politically by outside people. And you don't have to know every single boundary. You just have to be able to like, kind of identify them uh, and s define them. Next, we have the Berlin Wall, if you didn't know what that was. And the Berlin Wall was used during uh, the World War II. Uh, and it was separating different parts of Germany from one another. I think it was World War II. It might not be World War II. It's historically used to separate East from West Germany uh, when Germany was divided. And this was a physical boundary. Now, this boundary is no longer in use. It's still in Germany. It's still part of its cultural landscape. And that makes it a relic boundary. A relic boundary is a boundary no longer in use. It's still visible and still part of the cultural landscape, like the Berlin Wall. Oh, gosh. That's not what I want to do. We'll get into that in just a second. Next, we have the boundaries between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. Uh, Ireland, it's its own country. Now, Northern Ireland and Ireland used to be one country. They used to be actually not one country. They used to be one region in the United Kingdom. But devolution occurred, and Ireland is now its own uh, country. So this occurred with the uh, evolution to the cultural landscape. So people have settled here. People have developed culture. But as time went on, the boundary uh, change occurred. And this is what's known as a subsequent boundary. So subsequent... Uh, we see our prefixes there kind of give us an idea of what's happening. So the boundaries are drawn uh, with the evolution to the cultural landscape as time goes on. Now the next one we're going to learn about, uh, well, next boundary we're going to learn about uh, is the example with Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia was one big country but set up into different states. Now that's a subsequent boundary as well. Uh, remember, boundaries can be more than different types. We see here with the Indonesia Papua New Guinea is geometric and superimposed. With the Yugoslavia example, this is separating cultural differences because these are all nation states. And ethnic uh, diversity was a big part of the break of Yugoslavia, that balkanization. So these types of boundary uh, changes are called consequent boundaries. Uh, and we can think of C and consequent for culture. So we primarily see cultural differences as a part of our consequent boundaries. So consequent boundaries are boundaries that are put in place uh, over time in the cultural landscape because of cultural differences. So yeah. That's how you kind of remember that. And then the final one we're going to learn is physical boundaries. So boundaries uh, between Argentina and Chile are for mountains. We can see the different mountains here. And these are physical things. And this uh, happened before the cultural landscape developed, before settlement. This boundary was already put in place. And this is known as an antecedent boundary. So antecedent boundary. So these are physical boundaries. Uh, the United States to Canada has an NHC boundary, it has some water right here that can be uh, considered a physical boundary as well. Uh, so yeah, antecedent is primarily another term for physical boundary. And yeah, those are our six different boundaries that we just learned. So geometric, straight lines, superimposed, outside forces, relic, still there but no function, subsequent, change with the evolution of cultural landscape, consequence, uh, cultural differences, and antecedent physical differences. All right, so here I have my six different boundaries. And now what we're going to do is we're going to have six examples, and you're going to match the example to the type of boundary. So pause the video if you need more time and connect them. All right, let's get started. So the Great Wall of China, that is a boundary no longer with a function. It was built to protect China 
It's still there, but it has no function. That makes it a relic boundary. Next, most states of Australia. Now, you probably would get a map for this if the question's asking you for this. And if you look at a map, you're going to see there's a lot of straight lines making the states of Australia primarily geometric boundaries. Don't know why it's covered there. That is not supposed to happen. Oh, no. Let me just write the Australia states. The gold states. <laughs> there we go. Next is Japan's border. So Japan's an island, so the borders are on water. That's going to make it antecedent because it's physical borders. Then we have the Kashmir boundary. You might have done some research to look this up. Um, and this is a boundary put in place by Pakistan and India to separate religious differences. And that's going to be a consequent boundary. Kashmir is primarily Islam, while uh, the rest is kind of Hinduism. Most of Africa... Most of Africa was put in place by Europe or has influence from Europe's Berlin Conference. So those boundaries are going to be superimposed because it's from outside forces. Hawaii to the United States. Hawaii was not always part of the United States. That occurred with the evolution to the cultural landscape and the United States' cultural landscape. So that's going to make it a subsequent boundary. And there we go. We've matched all of them together. And that's the end of the video. This was a pretty easy video. Thank you so much for watching. There's some video suggestions. If you have not seen those already, go watch them. They're pretty cool. Like and subscribe. It really does help me out and it's free. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.